What's going on everyone, Manny Ortiz here. And today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on how I smoothen skin in Photoshop without losing the texture. And if you're a portrait photographer, you need to learn how to go ahead and edit the skin properly. I know when I started portrait photography, I was just placing uh, just a layer of Gaussian blur over the skin and there was no texture. And yeah, that's, I, I don't blame you if you're doing that, but this video here is gonna take your workflow to the next level. It's very simple and very effective and that is why I use it. I'm gonna be including a free Photoshop action for frequency separation down in the description box. You guys can download it and follow the steps that I'm doing in the video. So make sure you download that. Also, I wanna send a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace offers beautiful, elegant, award-winning templates. Personally, I love their clean and minimalistic look. They also offer 24 seven customer support, so they're gonna be there when you need them. And the best part about it is, you don't need to be a web or graphic designer to create your own website. Anyone can do it. So make sure you head over to squarespace.com slash Manny Ortiz. Make sure you use the coupon code Manny and you will get 10% off. All right, so today we're gonna to be editing this photo of my wife. I took it last year with the Sony a7R II and Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4. Now, what I like to do when I smoothen skin is create a brush so I can just paint it on. I just feel like that's the easiest way to do it. But before I do that, I always grab the spot healing brush and just take out some of the bumps and like pimples or anything like that in the skin that's that's very obvious so i'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick now that i finished removing the bumps and the little pimples out of the skin now i can go ahead and start smoothing so when you go to the actions folder you're gonna see my action right here frequency separation manual ortiz if you don't know how to load this in you click here and you go to load action and then you find it and you load it and it's going to appear here in the action folder you open it and you play it all right so when you open up the folder you're going to see two layers there's a texture layer and a color layer and this is essentially what frequency separation is you're going to be separating the color and the texture so when you're smoothening the skin on the color layer you're not going to disturb the texture in the skin so that is what it's all about so now i'm going to go ahead and press command j or control j on pc to create another layer then i'm going to go to filter blur gaussian blur so here comes the tricky part you know you're going to have to determine how much blur you need in your image every image is different if you're taking a full body shot versus you know a tight portrait the the amount of blur that you're going to put in is different so what you want to look for is keeping the major parts of the face visible but you want to blur the skin for this image i would probably use maybe a 6.4 you know just to give a really nice slight blur to the skin but for example purposes i'm going to go ahead and overdo it a little bit so i'm going to go with a 10 and see yeah that's a that's a little that's obviously more than what i would want but you know let's do it so go with a 10 now we want to create an invert mask so what we do is press option or alt on pc and you want to click this little button down here and now you're going to get an inverted mask so you're going to get a black mask right here and you notice the photo is unblurred so now it's back to normal so now what we do is make sure that this one is white on this side click the brush and now you're just going to paint on the blur check that out so I'm going to start with the forehead just to show you guys a, before, a quick before and after all right check this out get a little closer all right before and after before after notice how the texture is still there but you're blurring the skin amazing right so now what I'm going to do is continue finishing the face. I'm going to show you there's some there's a couple of things you have to look out for when you're doing this. So go back to the brush. And I'm going to blur the rest of the skin. It's really easy to get carried away with this guys. I'm telling you. So make sure that when you when you're done smoothening, lower down the opacity. That's what I do. Just to give it a more natural look because you don't want to have that like I mean unless you want the porcelain doll effect uh, for the for most part you want your person to look human you know so 
but I am guilty of going overboard sometimes. It's very easy to go overboard. So as you're blurring the skin, there's a couple of things you have to keep in mind. You don't want to go over any defined lines. Like you don't want to go over the eye. You don't want to go over these lines right here by the nose because it's just, it blends it in. You don't want that. So let me go back. All right, so I'm gonna continue blurring out the skin. So that is how I smooth the skin in Photoshop. And after this, I would probably start messing around with, you know, fixing the blotches in the skin here, uh, under the eye and just fix any imperfections in the skin. Then I would go to dodging and burning and all that good stuff. So I want you guys to stay tuned for more retouching videos. I'm going to show you guys my techniques, but I don't want to do it all in one video. I feel like it's just a little overwhelming for the beginners out there. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and break them all down into different videos. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. This photo coming up is my favorite photo of the entire session. I asked the model to run her hands through her hair using both hands, closing her eyes, kind of giving me that majestic feel. The reflection off the building got really strong and it just gave this beautiful glow in the back. I mean, I was absolutely blown away when I got this shot.